Hi, I'm Mark from ereplacementparts.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to service or replace the air filter in a Campbell Haasfeld oilless air compressor. Many people don't even realize that their air compressor has an air filter, but most all of them do. It's actually very critical to the life of the air compressor to make sure that you service or replace the filter regularly. In this video, we're going to show you how to do that. All of the parts used in this video and many more can be found on our website at ereplacementparts.com. The air filter shape and location will be a little different on each air compressor, but will almost always be found on either side of the air compressor's head. In the case of my air compressor, it's located behind this plastic cover. On my compressor, the air filter cover is held in place with a single screw. I'll go ahead and remove that. Now I can pull the air filter cover and the filter away from the compressor. Again, this could look a little different on your air compressor, but the next step we want to do is to find the air filter element. In the case of my compressor, there's a plastic piece that holds the element into the cover. So I remove that, and there's the air filter. There are a number of different media that air compressor manufacturers will make their filters out of. There are paper filters, felt filters, and foam filters. Paper filters and felt filters are pretty much disposable. You may be able to blow compressed air through the back side of the filter a few times and blow the larger pieces of debris out of the filter, but ultimately the filter will get clogged by the really fine debris. Once these are clogged, they just need to be replaced. Foam air filters can be reused. When dirty, just remove it from the air compressor and clean it using dish soap and water. Then thoroughly dry the filter and it can be installed back into the air compressor. Over time, a foam filter will break down and at that point it will need to be replaced. Once the air filter has been cleaned or you have a replacement air filter, it's just a matter of mounting the filter back to the air compressor. In the case of my compressor, I've cleaned the foam element and I'll insert that back into the cover and then reinstall the keeper. And now I'll reinstall the air filter assembly back onto my air compressor. And that's all it takes to service or replace the air filter on a Campbell Haasfeld oilless air compressor. If you found our video helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment.